Hello, it's Bishop Walsh here on Wednesday, March 20th. And somebody asked me the other day, how come we haven't seen Sam in the videos lately? So I thought I'd give a gratuitous shot of Sam the dog here today as we're just hanging out on our day off here at the residence, just celebrated Holy Mass and uh, recorded the last part of the Lenten series video that I've been doing. I hope you've been checking that out. We've been reflecting on the nature of faith from the eyes of the saints that are in the Liturgy of the Hours book. So I just thought I'd uh, share a few things this weekend on uh, the snowy day. I think we're expecting a couple inches today. It's sunny out right now. It's supposed to get kind of snowy and windy uh, today. And um, just a few things to share with you that I really enjoyed my trip to Scranton last week. I must say that it was uh, a really happy occasion uh, surrounding St. Patrick's Day. I had the invitation to uh, be part of the, the dais for the Friendly Sons of St. Patrick, and I was able to uh, share the dais with the former president. President Bill Clinton was the keynote speaker, and I was the clerical speaker, and there were several other dignitaries there, but 800 men in tuxedos, including uh, my dad and my brother Jim, and uh, this also, just in terms of that night, was wonderful to connect with a lot of uh, people that I knew from the past there in Scranton. And uh, while I was home, celebrated Mass at the cathedral and went for Alfredo's Pizza and the Glider Diner and uh, just good family time as always. So uh, I was grateful for that opportunity to go back to Scranton. Um, coming up, just uh, we know we're heading into now the, the final days of Lent. Hope it's been a fruitful Lent for everyone. We continue to be steadfast in our disciplines of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, and hold on right to the end. It's very important that we do that and persevere. Uh, don't give up on those disciplines. Um, so uh, this day, today, I'm dedicating to a prayerful discernment of the situation for the Manistee Catholic Central School. There's been uh, a lot of uh, consideration that's going into the future of the school. And I wanna thank everyone who's participated in the process from the leadership team there to all of the, the alum and the foundation and all those who are rallying, doing their best to uh, help the school uh, forward. It's in, in a, a bit of a precarious situation and is requiring uh, a concerted effort. And we're going to do our best to see what is possible. But uh, there's a lot of factors that go into play. And I've consulted with the Finance Council and our Presbyteral Council and College of Consultors and so many others. Um, and today is a way to just bring into the mix everything that I've heard from everyone and pray about a decision that will be announced on Friday. Uh, to the people at Manistee Catholic Central. So I thank you for your, your prayerful assistance with that. Um, the rest of the week really is kind of office work. There is a Catholic Human Services Board meeting on Friday. On Saturday, very much uh, looking forward to the beginning of Holy Week with Palm Sunday Vigil. I'll be celebrating at the Cathedral at 5 p.m. And as that does kick off Holy Week, there is much for us to, um, to be grateful for, but we enter into the passion of the Lord and hear that story of what he was willing to endure for our salvation, suffering of mind, body, and spirit, and yet that saving sacrifice is the way for us to uh, really understand the depth of our faith. On um, Monday, I have a meeting with the deacon candidates. They are going to be ordained on April 20th. So I meet with each one of them just to ensure we have all of the things lined up and uh, that they'll have the call to orders. And we'll be eager to celebrate that uh, Mass at the Cathedral on April 20th. And I also on Monday have dinner with our seminarians. So, so grateful for that opportunity, our five men who are preparing for the Holy Priesthood. On the Tuesday of next week, there is the Chrism Mass. And that is one of the most amazing, beautiful masses of the whole year uh, where priests renew their vows. And there are so many other, the blessing of the oils that are used in all of the churches throughout the rest of the year. And it really brings the whole church together. So hope you have an opportunity to go to the Chrism Mass on Tuesday. There's also a St. Andrew's dinner, af dinner afterwards or brunch 
for men who are considering the priesthood. And I'm going to meet with three men in particular after that. Uh, Father Ben has been working with as our vocation director and have an opportunity to help uh, discern where they, God is calling them in their life as well. So lastly, I just would bring up uh, the fact that we have a wonderful Stations of the Cross on our website that I hope you will pray during Holy Week at least, if you haven't already. It's from Bishop Barriga, and uh, they're beautiful reflections with artwork that is original from when he had that uh, artwork hanging in church, uh, church in his diocese back in the 1860s. So thank you for checking in today, and uh, thank you for your prayers, and may God continue to bless us as we journey towards Easter. Peace to you.